never, never had before. So I'm excited to meet all of you. It's very, very fun. So yeah. I'm excited. Um, my business is a, a software marketing platform that um, is global, obviously, and it helps businesses and independent people market whatever they're doing online. And um, it's very, very cost effective and you get to be the one who's in control. So it's, it's a pretty cool platform and we, we power it with artificial intelligence. Wow. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, okay, awesome. We'd love to, me. yeah, we'd love to know more about your business as well. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, and you're welcome to come every week as well. I <laughs> okay. love it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no rule, no rule. Of, uh, are you able to unmute yourself and uh, show yourself if possible? Hello. Yeah, oh, okay. Outside, <laughs> you're yeah. outside, okay. <laughs> No, oh, wait, we can't uh, hear you. Uh, let me unmute her. Yeah. Sorry, okay. I should... oh, Sorry. I need to wear the mask. Yeah. Can you hear me? Please do. Yeah. All right. Because this was a no new norm that we need yeah. to wear the mask. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, actually, my name is Nuru. I'm from Malaysia. Okay. Uh, actually, now, uh, currently, I'm... Before COVID-19, I'm doing the corporate business on the training and consultancy for ISO 9001 for the quality, safety and health and environment services. But during uh, COVID-19, uh, I'm focusing more on the uh, individual individual uh, in terms of uh, helping them to maintain their business using the uh, SOP, uh, system operating procedure uh, that we need to share with the um, all of my uh, click uh, regarding the SOP. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Don't worry, I'll be showing your face later on as well. <laughs> One other <laughs> right, side. Thank you, okay, thanks, Duru. Okay, Bye. Kak Duryati, are you available to show yourself or unmute yourself? Hello, Duryati. No? Okay, how about... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, she just unmuted herself. <laughs> I'm coming. Yeah, Duryati. Yeah. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Jennifer. Uh, yes, I'm Duryati from uh, Singapore. Okay. Um, I'm a therapeutic uh, to do home business, full body massage. Um, yeah. So I I'm very happy, you know, to to be a part of this uh, awesome uh, Zoomas and <laughs> Jennifer. Thank you, Mushida Zil. Yeah, thank you, Duryati. Uh, we'd love to see how you know you also develop your business, especially now that you cannot you cannot do massages anymore, right? Yeah, but I'm doing tutorials, so called um, yeah. so called you know um, uh, online, you know, to those my um, existing clients. They do have uh, some kind of uh, challenge doing stay at home. So these are the some tips that we are given to them. So I'm glad you know they're keeping in touch. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank yeah, you. very important to keep in touch with your clients. Thanks, Duryati. Mm -hmm. Hi, Noraisha. Noraisha, are you available to unmute yourself or uh, show yourself on video? Okay. Okay. Uh, there you are. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Uh, I'm Noraisha. I'm um, an essential oil coach. Uh, I'm doing um, an empowerment on uh, women empowerment, but I'm not just doing empowerment on essential oil, but I'm also doing empowerment on nurturing an individual teenage um, and uh, children because that's where my passion is. Mm. Yeah, that's so good. I'm looking forward for this. Yay. Yay! Thank you, Noraisha. Okay, so let's uh, let's get on with the presentation. We'd like to share with you about um, you know um, if you can take some tips also on uh, I and I, any ideas that you can develop your communities and also develop your uh, business, especially during this COVID times. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so welcome everybody to uh, our webinar on increase your income with purpose. Today we'll be talking about how 
people like Azil and I, yeah. especially, we are non-techies. I get I get very blur whenever people yeah. start going into technology. Apa? Apa kita tukar? Apa lagi lain? Sebab tak ada saiz. Wait, wait. Is it to me? Langis. Tengah. Oh, ayah. Wait, wait. Yeah. Can you? Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, come. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is our company, Love and Respect Transformation Center. So yeah, basically what we are do, we are a social conscious uh, business. Uh, we were not always like this. We were actually before this, we were in the training and events uh, uh, line. We were, we were trainers and life coaches for more than fifteen years. Uh, so what happened to us was uh, we had some turning points in our life where uh, we were doing business in Singapore and then our business failed, you know, then we, I came to back to Malaysia, I'm a Malaysian, which, which does a Singaporean. And in the process of uh, picking ourselves up because uh, failed business and all that, uh, we actually started our own, we did uh, like a weekend project for charity project where we actually visited uh, orphanages, uh, give uh, food to the homeless, you know, like visit the low income families. And we had a lot of uh, ch uh, change in our, uh, one of the changes for myself was we did one program for sex workers. Where this program was my turning point where uh, there was one 60 plus year old lady where she was sharing about her challenges and the problems that she was trying to get out of the, the sex trade. But there's nobody want to support her, her family kicked her out, her, her <coughs> friends, uh, relatives all uh, rejected her. So she continued uh, in her trade for, for 10 uh, 20 ringgit per session, that kind of thing. So I was very emotional at that time because I said, this is about my late mother's age. And I said, how can we as a society allow this kind of elderly woman to be in this kind of situation? And there's so many people that is around her, but nobody's helping her. You know? So I was uh, crying, I was praying, I was reflecting. How can I actually help uh, this kind of people, this lady? You know, then uh, I, uh, after that, I, a few days after that, I met a friend who introduced me to the concept of social enterprise. So I said, what is this social enterprise? Because like the first time I heard about it, you know, then she said, oh, actually it's using your business or for help to create social impact, to do social activities, you know. So then I actually got the opportunity to enroll myself in a, a program, social enterprise track in a, a Malaysian Global Innovation Center, where it's a government body for, so, for entrepreneurs. So I, I studied three months on social enterprise on how to run it. So that's the birth of our company, Love and Track uh, Transformation Center, where we focus a lot on uh, long-term education, a uh, high quality education and mentorship. And we focus on uh, helping them people to get out of poverty through education and through mentorship. So as you can see in this picture, this is one of the projects that we did. This boy, he's actually sharing impact. And she has a sister beside him here, which is also sharing impact. So what happened was this uh, couple from uh, Yemen, they are actually economic refugees from Saudi. They were staying in Saudi, but couldn't afford to pay for a lot of things there, the lifestyle, the tax and all this, so they ran, they came to Malaysia and uh, because they didn't have money, they couldn't fix their child's hearing aid for more than five years. So this, uh, we, 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 through our business, we were able to put our profits and also raise funds to actually collect uh, money to fix their hearing aid. So the, this is the first time in five years that the parents can actually hear, uh, his, the boy can hear his parents. So uh, we were like in the back of the seat, we were crying and then the parents was crying, you know. So this is one of the things that give us fulfillment. Uh, not only doing business, but helping others who are marginalized. You know, they are, they don't have uh, opportunity to get out. But uh, that's what we do with our company. We yeah. have, uh, yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. For our company, uh, we. Okay. So this is what we do. We have a one help one model where every uh, training that I do also contributes to the low income homeless and refugees uh, here in Malaysia. Yeah, mm. because. Uh, we're in we're in Kuala Lumpur and there's just homeless people just 15 minutes 000, away yeah. uh, where we live and you know where we live there's hardly any homeless but 15 minutes away by car you will see a lot of homeless people and we say yeah. we've got to do something about it but yeah. how can we do that yeah. um, it is all through our business yeah and uh, these are some of the success uh, stories that we have we have also encountered because we used to just feed the homeless but it didn't we noticed after a couple of years, it didn't really help them long term just by giving them food and all that. So we, we decided to give more on education. And one of, of one of the people that we educate 
we, we started to sponsor into our program is Hassan, a Syrian teenage refugee. We met him when he was 15 years old. Yeah, now he's 20 years old already. Yeah, but we met him when he was 15 years old. He was a teen, like going in and out of suicidal thoughts. He, sometimes he's happy, sometimes he wants to kill himself. And it's because he faced a lot of trauma back in Syria when he was a child. Uh, because, you know, his cousins and his friends, while they were playing, they all died in a bomb. In a bomb, uh, you know, there was, there was a bomb uh, explosion. explosion where they were, they were playing and he was the only survivor. So his father took his, the whole family to Malaysia and that's how he restarted his life again. But it was like he was still facing in and out of trauma. So we sponsored him into the program, taught him how to speak, uh, communication skills, taught him how to release through EFT, through NLP, you know, all, all the forgiveness sessions. And then after that, one thing led to another and he was such a good student. He was so coachable. Hassan's dream is to become a teacher and also a speaker. Yeah. yeah. So what he did was he had a volunteer network where there was about 100 over people all over, you know, uh, sure, the world. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they, they love to volunteer. So I helped him uh, work on certain SOPs, like what I do right now with communities, right? And now he has a, a very a, a few communities that he started, yeah, yeah. helping people with medical, helping uh, refugees. He's even an uh, activism as a, he, uh, he's an activist for speaking on behalf of refugees in yeah. Malaysia, you know, especially if they're wrongly they're jailed, oppressed, yeah. uh, oppressed and all that. Yeah. And he's covered in a lot of media right now. And we're very proud that he's actually, a, he became a TEDx speaker, yeah. right? So these are some of the things that we see can transform people when they get into their own power, right? Regardless of whatever history yeah. they came from. Hassan, uh, one of the secret of his success was uh, he was very giving, you know, like uh, when we started doing uh, activity with refugees, we went, to, we went from door to door and then Hassan used to be our guide, he's and our translator, you know, and then sometimes we tell Hassan, okay, we will give you some money because you help us. We say, no, no, don't, I don't want the, the money, you just give to somebody who actually needs it more. But we know that his family is struggling, but he doesn't, he doesn't he refuses to take the money because he knows there's other people who are uh, poorer than him. And then he's always, he's very coachable and very teachable. And that's one of the uh, secrets uh, or the, 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 his success uh, formula that he actually managed to be successful. And when we, other, we see other refugees and other business owners apply this, they also have the, uh, the same success as well. Yep. So actually we had a turning point uh, in during the lockdown uh, in Malaysia, it's about 15 March uh, was the lockdown. So what we did was, uh, when we heard about the thing happened, first started in China and then uh, Italy and then Spain, right? Uh, and at that time, it was not, uh, it was already in Malaysia, but it's not locked down yet. But during the, uh, just before the lockdown, we actually talked to our partners, Dennis and Craig from Canada. They actually have, they actually operating our online platform right now, which we're going to share a bit later. We, we told them we wanted to launch our online platform in July, but because of this COVID situation, which is very critical, we decided to accelerate it and do it in, in at that month itself in March. And then start doing and fine tuning along the way. You know? And then we had a very good meeting where we finalized uh, what we needed to, to do for the online platform. And we just started doing uh, immediately where we, we do webinars. Uh, this is another webinar we did, uh, one of our first webinar we did with my our one of our uh, partners, uh, Ari Azrael from Australia, Australia. he does on business branding and then our members actually attended his course. He does a lot of branding uh, with purpose. He's very aligned with our, our uh, mission which is to create brands that actually do a social impact as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what we noticed during uh, COVID-19, one after another, right? And it happened quite, it happened very fast. Yeah, yeah. It's only like been two months that the, the announcement uh, started coming in uh, in March where yeah. we are in Malaysia. And then one after another, by April, by, by uh, May, businesses started closing down. And Even then the for, big ones, right? Yeah, and there was a rise in urban poor. And then that's when we started to, to see uh, what happened. Why are they taking so slow? Because we immediately pivoted and then we um, like, when I found out that all my events were cancelled, my training was cancelled, I yeah. was like $100, you know, lesser. So I said, okay, how can I get that $10,000? $10, uh, $10, uh, not $100, $10,000. Yeah. $10,000 that was like gone because they, they you yeah, know, so they cancelled all the events. Yeah. So I was saying, how can I get this uh, 10000 back by the end of the month, you know, because that was the goal. So I, I pivoted and, you know, we, I made it a point that I don't lose out on this, on this income, right? Yeah. But businesses around me were, were shutting down cafes, restaurants, retail, 
and they're not small businesses they're big businesses you know like blue ink that carries brands like women's weekly book magazine harper's bazaar they shut down here in malaysia right and not only malaysia also in singapore where uh hotels uh started closing down one after another and hotels that we are so used it's to stay in like yeah hotel. this is gurney hotel in penang you know we go for holidays there we stay there like off, time, very yeah. often and big hotels closed down right yeah. so th these were things that, that happened one after another that we saw in the uh in in the happening in the industry and then another incident happened in singapore where home-based businesses were told to stop operating yeah. because of the fear of covid19 Yeah. Home-based businesses were not supposed to uh, operate during a certain period of time and a lot of people lost money because yeah. they already invested Bought, yeah. in products, um, products and to sell, especially Hari Raya, Eid is coming. So, you know, th that caused a lot of um, money that was that was lost for an income yeah. loss for business owners. And this is a newspaper article from today online in Singapore. And this is a friend of mine, actually. He was featured there as a home-based owner who actually lost income. But what he did was he managed to get in touch with another business owner that does vending machines. Now, this is what I'm talking about, businesses. They need to have this mindset of quickly pivoting. When they see a problem, what can they do immediately so that their income will not get lost, right? So the owner of these vending machines, which is uh, Miss Amanda, uh, right? Miss Amanda, she, she, has, uh, she owns vending machines. So when the government said home-based businesses cannot operate anymore because you know they don't want people transferring uh products all over the island um she's she has these vending machines and immediately she contacted as many home-based businesses um to put the food or items in the vending machine right and of course people like uh this gentleman muhammad no uh, he managed to salvage some of his income and then it's a win-win situation right mm. so this is something that we as business owners whenever there is a problem the first thing we got to think of What can I do? What can I do to resolve this? How can I how can I grow my income? How can I save my lost income or earn back that lost income? Right. So with whatever you already have, because you know what? Like I I think um I already spoke this before in in Holly's group. If some of you were there, right? Um, we are all sitting on money. There is that is something that we can use, rotate, uh, promote, um, something that that is of value to another person. And um. Okay, over the years, right, more than 10 years of me coaching business owners, corporate people, um, when, when it comes to change, why people remain stuck is mainly all of these problems. And especially now during COVID-19, right? Yeah. The person's mindset is that still of the employee trading time for money. And that takes sometimes a long time for people to move out of that. They're still stuck hoping for things to happen. You know, in March when when uh, the government locked down uh, the, the country and then say it's going to be two weeks, you know, people say, oh, never mind, we'll just, wait we'll for just wait two weeks, for yeah. two weeks. And then it was another two weeks yeah. and it's another two weeks. And now it's three months that we are not, uh, uh, the, the whole life or our life is, uh, you know, in, in the house. Yeah. So a lot of times people, when they are in this mindset of wait and see, or when I work, then I can get income. That's where they start having that, um uh you know the 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 income drops right that's why they, they cannot grow their business because they are not moving with the times yeah the other one is fear of change um that's also an issue fear of visibility visibility because people are always shy they're sick they're afraid of being judged by others uh, and if you want to grow your business online you've got to be very visible right so that's another one that holds a lot of businesses back because of that fear of visibility Uh, people don't know how to market that's relevant in today's economy and our economy right now is always changing you know we we have been um yeah. like forced to pivot in a very short period of time yeah. and if you don't do that then you know you're going to get stuck and your bills are going to pile up you know yeah. and um you to sacrifice your lifestyle and all this right? yes yeah. and then the other thing is uh financial challenges and cash flow because they cannot grow up grow because they are stuck with the money money is always stuck they don't Uh, this and it's the same story actually for many many years like I don't have money I would love to but I don't have money right so it is that financial challenges and cash flow which I I believe is just a mindset you know yeah when when you focus on a, a the purpose of where your money needs to come and what it needs to do for you yeah. you will get the money right yeah. and they don't have any proper systems and structures yeah 
And what other things, main challenges of businesses, getting new customers, growing internationally because they don't know, they don't know people, right? Uh, they don't know how to get the right JV partners. So these are, these are causing a lot of businesses to be stuck where they are. First, from the business owner's mindset, and then it is all the other things like, oh, I don't know people, I don't know who to connect to, yeah. I don't have enough money, all of these things. Yeah. So uh, that's why seeing all of this that we have worked with our clients before in the past, that's why Zil and I, we started the Leave a Legacy Conscious Business Community because uh, we believe businesses is a channel for good. Make money, use the profits for a purpose, right? Uh, a lot of times, people don't talk about purpose, they talk about profits. Mm. Uh, make a lot of money, oh, very mm. nice, you know, your company is growing big, worth how much million, how much mm. billion, how much trillion, you know? And then, but what has it done for the rest of the world? Yeah, what has it done for the people around you? Yeah. How come there's more poor people and or people hungry, people, right? yeah. yeah, without homes, and there are so many big villas that are empty, that are not being utilized. Yeah. So this led us to believe, think that, you know, we decided to use our business yeah. to help eliminate poverty around us, whatever we can do, whether it's the homeless people or people, you know, who, who are having challenges uh, financially or personal relationship. We, we decided to use this as a channel for good. Yeah. And what we realized is that we were not the only ones. That's why we want, we are happy to connect with a few other businesses who also believe in the same thing, right? Yeah. And when we meet people, people who want to start business or they lost their jobs and they want to go an income, they want to, they want to uh, pursue their passion, we would like to mentor them and coach them to be able to do good through their business, right? So that's why we started Live a Legacy Platform where you get businesses to first be conscious, yeah, do good with your business, and then connect with other conscious businesses around yeah. the globe, people who are also doing good through their business, yeah. and you can, you can do business venture, together. Yeah, you can work together to create more impact. Yeah, connect with each other, grow in each other's countries, yeah. uh, sell to each other's uh, customers, yeah. because you know, if you're not selling the same stuff, you know, there's something that you can do together. And when your businesses grow, your community also actually yeah. uh, it benefits yeah because you are doing good already in your business yeah? yeah and we also started live a good legacy to mentor and support business to grow and get visibility offline and online yeah. um, especially those affected by covid-19 lockdown right yeah what well, yeah well, I want to share something here is why we started this because we first started with the mind of helping uh, businesses <coughs> do social impact but then when we started doing coaching for them then we realize they're also struggling in their own business. They're not getting the income that they should get. And then now with the lockdown, it's even worse. So that's why we decided to focus on mentorship <laughs> as well, not just uh, for, for social impact, but also for growing yeah. up and upscaling their business as well. Yeah, because uh, initially we wanted to help businesses to create a social impact. Yeah. And then we realized, you know, a lot of people out there have such good hearts. Yeah. They want to help other people, but they are struggling themselves. They're not yeah. even making 5,000 US dollars a month uh, through their business. Yeah. So it's like that is the basic that businesses should be actually earning, right? Yeah. So main challenges of good-hearted people that I've noticed is they want to give, but they don't have enough money and they have to keep depending on donations, asking for funds through donations in order for them to carry on their work. And after a while, they get donors fatigue, especially when they a lot of people are crying for help and they don't have enough money, right? Yeah. So after that, they feel resentful yeah. of the whole thing. And I say, please don't ever get donors fatigue. It, it does not feel good to give when you are when you are not feeling good about giving, right? Yeah. So when you give, be happy about it, feel blessed and feel grateful, right? So um, this is something that we also notice about people uh, who are heart-centered. They want to help, but they are still struggling in their business, yeah? yeah. So we want to work with uh, business owners who want to scale up, be profitable, and also do good at the same time. So this is the platform. It's to connect, mentor, and create visibility for the people in the community. And what we encourage uh, through your business is either you help the environment, yeah. you protect the environment, yeah, you, you are environment friendly, uh, your products are. And uh, the other thing is you, through your business, you are actually developing people. You have diversity in your yeah, office. Yeah, you poverty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is the people development. You empower women, um, you know, the equality, gender equality in the, in the workplace. And the other one is elevating the economy. Yeah, uh, 
that means through your business, you are actually eliminating poverty. If you give jobs to people who need the jobs, uh, you know, you empower the 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 marginalized communities, all of these things. Yeah. So these are the these are the things that we have done in our business, and we want to help and mentor people to create all of these within their business model. And I additionally, I have a family leadership community. Yeah, where uh, women have a different set of problems. Yeah. So that's where the family leadership community uh, meetup is an additional once a month actually uh, program that I, I I have started. But since the lockdown, it has been weekly, <laughs> and I've got my friends from all over the world to come in and uh, give a lot of uh, sharing from their experience because women need to realize that they are not alone uh, in their in yeah, their well, challenges. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have a voice, they have a message that they can share, benefit others. Exactly. Yep. My husband is a feminist, so uh, <laughs> yes, yes. The, 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 yeah. this is us, yeah, Zil and I, we're team love and respect, yeah, yeah. so, um, and these are the people who were with us from the beginning, uh, and they, they gave support uh, with us, and that's how we started also the Live a Legacy uh, platform, oh, but it has evolved into what it is right now, yeah. Um, the live a legacy offerings are this: when companies or businesses come in our community, we help them with visibility, uh, marketing, financial, whatever it is yeah. that they require. But we don't do everything ourselves. Yeah. We, oh, yeah. 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 we are good at what we are good at. Uh, we bring other mentors to come and uh, share on other areas. On yeah. other areas, our dream is to have a one-stop center for entrepreneurs where we have one a platform where if they need uh, anything to grow their business to to scale up to get visibility we have it in our platform even though we don't offer it directly but we have members in our community that offer these uh, services and business yeah. to help entrepreneurs so um, while we are doing our presentation feel free to uh, write whatever you know yeah. what questions you have in the chat yeah. and then we can address it at the end of the session We'll be doing more Q and A and some sharing, yeah. So yeah. in the meantime, if you want to remember, ask yeah, questions, ask questions, yeah. you can post it in the chat, and then we can we can address it in case you forget, lah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So the other thing is our Live a Legacy Community um, platform does this, yeah. All the conscious businesses when they come into our community, we help them with a social impact creation, business growth empowering the women, business owners, yeah. uh, connecting businesses globally. with each other globally, uh, personal development because we believe the quality of the, pers uh, of the entrepreneur yeah. also manifests through the, uh, to the call. Personal yeah. development of the person. Yeah, to yeah. the business yeah, yeah. itself, yeah? The, the quality of the business. So when they come in, first thing we want you to do is be able to create the packages and create instant cash based on what you desire, the target, goal of income that you would like to have within the first 30 to 90 days whether it is five thousand dollars this is the amount i said minimum must be five thousand don't earn anything less than five thousand weekly uh monthly mm -hmm. yeah and then after that uh then you scale up but if you're already earning maybe 50 uh 20k a month something like that you want to scale up we will we will work with you on packaging it on the higher uh, packages yeah so it depends on where you are right now because some people they come in zero and they say i want to make a million in the first 90 days i would say you need to first earn your first 1000 in the first week can you do that you know so that that we will start in progression based on where you are at the moment in your business yeah and some of the people uh, i would say people who come in, in our community it varies in how fast yeah. or how uh, how they they can they can get in the the money through their packages yeah. like uh, yuna yuna uh, worked with us last year she came into our community and uh, she couldn't pay the full amount as a member right but she came in with partial amount 30 percent and then we yeah. said okay the rest of it you pay within 30 days right we help her create the package and then after the we expected after 30 days that she will be coming in with the rest of the payment but she came in three days right after our jump start call yeah. and she said yes i already got it i know where i'm gonna uh, i i have the money a half of it is done after three days i'll transfer it to you and i'm like wow you know she was one of the fastest that she managed to get it within three days uh, 3,500. Yeah. And before that, she was not earning that kind of money in her business. She was earning as a corporate person, but not in her business. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the, the what surprised us was that 70,000 that came in yeah. a month later yeah. for her to start a new business. Yeah. And it yeah. came in within two weeks. Yeah. yeah and it was not uh, getting something new. It's just packaging something that she already has. Her yeah. knowledge and her 
uh, experience uh, and and pitching it to a potential investor and they actually invested in her yeah. business in her ideas. So your target yeah. market, what you already have, your packaging and how valuable it is to your target market can create that kind of instant cash for you. Yeah? yeah. So the other thing she did was uh, she was uh, given the Women's Day project this year in Putrajaya and she got it, our women in our community to be present in Putrajaya. So we had okay. people like Chef Rosila from Singapore and Noraisha from Singapore invited to the Malaysian yeah. platform and they started to have visibility. They yeah. got started getting new customers uh, in Malaysia. Yeah. This is Chef Rosila. She runs a baking academy in, uh, in Singapore, yeah. uh, but she doesn't have any baking academy uh, in, Malaysia. in Malaysia, right? But, you know, because of her visibility that time uh, in, in Putrajaya, you now opened up the connection. She started getting more people, uh, her customers coming from Malaysia, students from Malaysia, yeah. Uh, same as Noraisha. Noraisha also was uh, uh, is from Singapore, yeah. So when she came to Malaysia and she came, she gave talks. Uh, she started creating visibility as well, yeah, for herself and a lot of other things that came up along the way while we were building yeah. the community. Um, amazing things like oh, two K in sales this week. Um, uh, Okay, I got a. I just started an yeah. online class. This yeah. is now, this is somebody not from Germany. Yeah, have not done online at all or very beginner, but they can start online. You know, just by being in the very high bud community and getting the support from the rest of the community members. Yeah, yeah, they never thought that they could do something like that, and they have. And we have so many other testimonials posted. You know, people who've never been in the online stage before yeah. never thought that they could sell things that they already have in their house, and people were buying. They were making like money, you know, these are all the things that's happening. Yeah, I, uh, more recently, this came out in the papers, one of our, our community uh, businesses, business owners, Chef Rosila, she was covered in the media and all of us celebrated in the group as well, you know, posted yeah. it in our website. So from her posting, which came in from mainstream media and to all of us, she got more visibility as well, right? Yeah. So just like uh, Noraisha started doing Zoom meetings and um, it was very successful. I'll let Noraisha share a bit in, in a bit uh, on, on what, what uh, was yeah. successful out yeah. of, out of uh, being in community and, and having, you know, getting online, her business yeah. online. And, uh, and this, Aisha, he's not a techie person at all. She does, she does mostly is off, offline, but because of her uh, ability to learn and pivoting <coughs> and willing to pivot, she actually managed to do it. Yeah. Know, so it's quite amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she pivoted quite fast also. Yeah, she didn't yeah. wait too long. Um, yeah, the other one is Nurul. Nurul that with her mask just now. Now this is you can see her beautiful face. <laughs> so she also started getting more, you know, web uh, being yeah. uh, uh, visible on webinars. Uh, speak, yes, yeah. uh, Yuna. Ah, uh, there Yuna is just about to come into the room right now. Yuna, she's right here. Yeah, uh, here. She was amongst all the top halal uh, speakers in Malaysia, yeah. and she's been given the platform also to speak. So a lot of things happen when you're in community yeah when you can you are visible in a community and you you start to work on your uh you know your message back online even though you may not have any uh any any online knowledge at all okay what we're gonna yeah, do now any questions you have to ask first before we, we, we yeah well thing? i want to do this uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay okay can you just show here first I want to finish this. Okay. Um, is this on? Okay. And then, yeah, the other one is Dr. Lily also. She has uh, another program coming up. And then Haslinda just sent in some information also. Yeah. She has a program coming up. So all of these people who never had online seminars, webinars, or, or speaking engagements, they're now starting to have it all online as well, right? So um, I, I'm going to stop here for a while. Yeah. And I would like to invite uh, Noraisha. Who is Harida? Yeah, just, just, um, guess, yeah, just oh, okay. Yeah. Admit. Okay. So, Norasha, can you just share with us, like, um, how how did you pivot? How did the Zoom meeting? You because you've never done it before, and you've got like a lot of people in your yeah. in your own community. And how has it been yeah. working for you? Yeah. Um, what about was uh before the COVID nineteen? I'm actually doing um online face-to-face uh, -face training. I was, uh, I was always volunteering uh, 
uh, with the company that have the essential oil to do training. So it's a free training. And then um, I also do retreat for um, people to help them to do cleansing and detox. But uh, during the COVID, then all training actually uh, already stopped because people don't want to be in contact. It's about social distancing, especially in Singapore. So most of my community actually missed my training. <laughs> So, so they, they wanted training, they wanted training, so then I, I got inspired when I attended um, a webinar session uh, being moderated and then, and then that, that idea just uh, pop up and I decided to uh, create my own and have people that wants to moderate with me, to work with me, my partners who wants to work with me, who wants this and we started, so I started on sharing um, the normally I did I did it like a uh, face to face kind of workshop. So I, I I did the same module type that I had to do bite sizes information within one hour I have to finish all the bite size information uh, and to make sure that all my viewers are able to cope and getting the knowledge that they want. And um, I had my PA actually, she is the one who helped me with a lot of um, uh, preparation on my content, um, on my um, uh, e-flyers, and um, I just shared with my whole community uh, on my sharing day, and then and then and then they just came and and we saw the crowd there. Then when we got the crowd, I realized that I, I spoke to my partner further and how we can help others to improve. And I I, I started leveraging by inviting you, by inviting my other. Um, amazing uh, trainers to come into my platform to share because I want to also um, extend the network for them and how, how I can do that for them is by uh, asking them to come into my network so it's about sharing network and ca calling on my other trainers and then eventually we decided that since we've done a general topic on the essential oil on remedies we decided that we need to do zooming zoom means doing emotional doing mental doing vibra increasing vibration so those are the partial things that we did so in feelings in in feelings topic that i actually had a moderator that is a real counselor who understand about mental wellness and all so i am moderated with her and in that class it requires some token of payment because uh, i was inspired that i was looking at it like i'm the potion master and a lot of uh, people uh, uh, who are frontliners to, uh, during the COVID is actually, I don't want them to be in due exhaustion, but they may need essential or they can boost their immune system. So I decided uh, to come up with the idea to do potions and then, and, and when that happens, when the purpose are uh, just being created, um, the classes that we, we created uh, come in so timely and we managed, and then we actually also intend that we only want about 10 packs, we don't want more than that. Uh, because we want to do hands-on and we go, we want to dive in into the emotions and share and then want others to share so that we can help them go deeper and then uh, that's where we managed to collect um, the amount of money and then that amount that I actually meet, uh, able to do more portions and then keep giving away more on that yeah yes frontliners oh yeah, you yes. also give potions to the hospital frontliners, right? Through your business. Yes, uh, not just frontline, uh, hospital frontliners, but uh, most uh, most of my network that they have, like uh, em embassy, they work in embassy. So giving the embassy people who do the passport thingy. Yeah, and I had other, other uh, besides nurses, uh, there's also other uh, front, uh, frontliners uh, uh, on their own field. So I had a few network that was able to help me to disseminate for them. So I, I don't really have to go around giving it door, door to door. Exactly. So it's all, uh, it's all giving to my network leaders and then they help me through with their people. Awesome. Yeah, and awesome. That's, that's great. You see, as long as we pivot fast, your business model has changed from being heavily offline to that online right okay yes. um, thank you so much i'm just going to continue and if any of you has any more sharing you can raise your hand and yeah we we can we can we would love to hear from you as well you know um here we go okay yeah so uh also in our community we are always looking out for people that we can promote on on uh in the media 
because um, you know this 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 was me back back when you know I was we, this was like world hijab day uh, in in back in 2014 and uh, half post life connected with me uh, in in Malaysia at that time to get some sharing about how hijab is perceived in Singapore and Malaysia compared to the Western countries because there was such a big issue there you know about women being oppressed wearing hijab whereas over here is like well, no big deal at all you know so it's like you see police wearing all this so we were just sharing content and sharing perspective and I love this because that's where a lot more understanding happens around the world when we communicate when we connect with people around the globe yeah. then you can you get less prejudice you get less yeah. judgment and all that kind of thing you know so in our community also we know people who are in the media and we also know some of uh, the business owners who need to be in the media because they do so much good yeah. they need to be to yeah. be more famous yeah, yeah. so we'd love to we'd love to uh, uh, share our media contacts also with people yeah. who have a worthy message as well and this is in Malaysia where we did uh, with uh, Astro uh, on the rise yeah. of social enterprise they talk about they were talk they interviewed Zil and I on um, how social enterprises can actually change the economy and also the kind of leadership that we are looking um, at for you know what is a what is a good leader actually yeah. so we were quite uh, amazed uh, why they invited us because uh, one thing is uh, we asked them how do you get to know about us because we are not uh, we are very new in social enterprise and we are not uh, you know we are not a company that is doing very well that's uh, that's earning a lot of money yet we were just starting our social enterprise but they said actually they found us online we are, we are very visible online and then they love what we do our work with the homeless with the low income family with the refugees and that's why they called us uh, to, to 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 speak on the on the media and then that's why we, we for us we feel that very important for us to be visible online not to show off to others but to share your message yeah uh, be sincere and share your message and that's where you get a lot of visibility and a lot of opportunities yeah and that's how your business can also grow yeah so this was me be stalk with the malicious astronaut uh, yeah. dr sheikh uzafa talking about women empowerment uh, and we were also under the green project management uh, we were given uh, the award for sustainability, uh, best sustainable uh, company because of our work that we have done with refugees and Brands for Good Award in Malaysia, uh, Singapore. in Singapore um, gave us and recognized us as the business model that works, right? Yeah. So because we've been told before that your business will yeah. not work. Yeah. That was like how many years ago, but yeah. we just continued. Yeah. That's why I always share with all of you if people say and they've never done your business before and they say Doesn't that work. business cannot work and that business cannot be done why should you listen to them you yeah. know unless they have done exactly what you have done and yeah. it doesn't work and you want to know why it didn't work so you can do it differently but a lot of people give up a dream or a, a message that they're supposed to share because someone else says mm -hmm. that business is not going to work right and people have told us that also but you know uh, last year we got recognized that our business actually works <laughs> yeah and then also i i'm also um, you know pro personal brand i always believe in authenticity business owners must have a good personal brand because if your business doesn't work and you or you open any other businesses because of what you stand for people will buy from you right and um i i i worked on my own personal brand and 2017 i also was an award winner okay so this is also another group of community that i i was in uh, which is the queen program uh, under gina devi in the us and that's where i met holly that's where i met marie claire and i know i would love to introduce you to some more of this amazing women here with amazing stories and when we are connected with people globally you will see that your connections grow your business grow your contacts grow and your mindset also grows you know so yeah. that's why i always say get online uh, get connected, get around the globe, get your message across because that's where people will learn from one another. Yeah, and this is we learn also from Ken and Alicia yeah, Minkus. We invest a lot in our self development to, yeah. to, to upgrade ourselves. Yeah, you know? and we also learn pitching from uh, Kevin Harrington, the original shark of Shark Tank. Yeah. Uh, we, he came to Singapore and a few times we had a private session with him and he helped work. With uh, help us on our messaging, our pitching, right? Yeah. And Dr. Lavinsa and Dr. Dr. Guna are our business consultants for Malaysia, yeah. and also. Okay, yeah. This uh, one thing good about uh, we having very good JV partners, right? Like for example, like Dr. Lavinsa and Dr. Guna, they actually a company set up and business growth consultant. 
and they uh, not only do service like accountancy or company secretary, but they do advising or consultancy on how to upscale your business. So one thing good about having that in our platform was uh, last few days, they told us, okay, uh, because of the COVID-19, there's a lot of things available that government is giving like grants, uh, loans from different organizations. So we were, they did a briefing on us uh, last night and we were able to apply for at least one of the grants uh, that, yeah. was, uh, that was uh, ended last night. So that's one thing good about having uh, this kind of people in our team. Uh, team so we all can grow together. Yeah, They can advise you on recruitment and uh, any areas of business. Like if you want to get investors, so they can they can advise as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, Azrael, who is our also our consultant for um, company brands, yeah? yeah? Yeah. So why I believe so much in the power of community and what we're doing here is actually building a community and I am also encouraging each and every one of you here to go build your own communities. You know, when we all are connected with one another, yeah. that's where when good businesses, are people who are already doing good in their business, you believe in doing good. When you have your own people that you are leading, you are mentoring, uh, and we connect with each other around the globe, can you imagine how much change we can create in the world? Right, we, we cannot depend on politicians to lead or and all that. We business owners, we can create an economy, we can create incomes, we give jobs, and we can help eliminate poverty. All right, so it all starts with us. And why I love community is because of all this helps in your growth, mutual support, opportunities in leadership. Uh, you have access to specific knowledge like Zil and I, we have no idea how to do technology. But because of community, people in our community, um, you know, we can we can get the app for you. We can, um, you know, learn about how to get online, all of these things. And we can cross-sell and we can build business together. All right. And the other thing about communities is you must also be in the right community. I've been in some communities where they go inside a community and yeah. everybody's trying to hard sell each other's yeah. products. Yeah. That is not what a community does. A community is to support one another so that you can do business better. Not to They are not your customers that you sell each to each other. Yeah. But if you buy from each other, that's fine, but not hard, hard sell. Yeah, yeah. Right? So in our community, we also must have this this thing about sharing, sharing connections. So that's yeah. where the abundance mindset comes in. <clears throat> Based on shared values, they believe in the we, not in the me. Like some people, they go into a community, it's all about me, 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 you know. Uh, they're only talking about their own products. Yeah. So it is not, not the kind that we want to encourage. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're also looking uh, for the right communities uh, to be able to contribute better. And the community also has to have a high positive vibe, right? So, okay, this is a social action model that I applied on communities. I'm just not going to go through all that, but I'm just going to highlight this part. A model, a successful social model, community model, must be empowerment-based. They must have collaboration and partnership. They have alliances, development and action plans. And I applied this in my refugee communities. And I would say most of them, because of being in a community with one good leader, the the there are lesser people who are in uh, trouble like either not have enough food at home or they don't have money to pay rent they all look out for one another all right um when somebody is down someone else helps to pick, pick up people or pick up make sure nobody goes hungry in that community okay so, <coughs> so i've tried and tested with the refugee community and during this COVID time i work with the low income indonesian community here in malaysia and it's also the same thing. I say, don't fight over food. Don't fight over, over stuff, you know, because if one person has more, another person is less, and then there will be a lot of disharmony. So you have to instill that gotong royong. In Malay, they call it gotong royong, which is to help one another in the society. It's a community base. So that's where you can survive better. That's where you don't starve, right? So this is my community leader that I just appointed this last month, right? Mm. So this all happened in these two months, you know, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. It's something that we've done and it's like it works and it's something we want to share and we want you to start building your communities. Yeah, then you eliminate a lot more problems that are already existing right now. Like yeah. for this example, is the 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 uh, hunger, you know, they, they were yeah, hungry, they, they didn't they have money to buy food. They didn't go to work, so they didn't have money to buy, even buy food. Yeah, so successful communities must have this, production, distribution, consumption, socialization, social control. That's why I talk about SOPs, you know, you must have SOPs in your community. Uh, social participation, yeah? everybody is like 
contributing something, not just everything is all about themselves. So it's contributing and helping one another, mutual support. Yeah? So this is my refugee community. I work with them as well. And, uh, you know, we, we, whatever extra, um, like this, this MBOK came from our community member also, Rufina, who works for MBOK. And um, through, her, through her introduction, we got food for the refugees, yeah? Milk for yeah, the refugees. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that's how we can uh, help them come out of problems as well. Okay. I'm just going to go very quickly uh, with this. Uh, this is what I learned on the pandemic period and it's going to end until 2021, right? This is done by a couple of... Okay. This is done by a couple of... Um, this is done by a couple of uh, uh, researchers um, in Singapore or, and, and around the world as well, the consultants uh, on the implications because COVID-19 is not just going to happen and that's it, it's yeah. going to go back to normal. Things are going to be different until 2021. Yeah. yeah? And uh, there will be a lot of changes like high touch activities like massage, beauty salon, nail spas, all these businesses are uh, going to change commercial real estate is going to change, all of these things. So what do you need to do in order to pivot and your industry will survive and your company will survive, right? So it goes all the way until 2022. So when, we, when you come into our community, we would be discussing this with you on how you can, you can transition uh, from where you were before to what you need to do now. Now is the immediate cash part. Uh, you, you really need to change right now. And then after that, instill certain uh, um, business models that can sustain you after 2021, right? Because by 2022, because of the political changes and what's happening around the world, um, there, will be, there will be changes, yeah? So you need to also work with that. And it helps when you have a community, yeah? So the first thing that you also need, besides collaboration, conscious capitalism, sustainability, you need to digitize. So what I did uh, that time, the first time when things happen, Mushida, uh, all your all your training is cancelled, you know, until indefinitely. And I was, the first thing I did was, I started crying, uh, cry, 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 <laughs> cry. I cry and I pray. The most thing, the most important, I cried to God, okay? Nobody knew about this except Zil. Uh, now, you, now you know, now you know that I was not like, oh, I'm so great kind of businesswoman. No, I cried, okay? I cried, I cried to God. I cried to Allah, please. Tell me what I need to do. And then I made it the shortest period of time. I gave myself two days to cry. So after two days, I was like back at work. Okay, this is what the, I'm inspired to do right now. I started to connect with all my contacts overseas, including Dennis and Craig, who does our app for us out of Canada, right? Ari Azrael out of Australia started to come in. Yes, let's do this together. Let's help businesses uh, create a good uh, branding for their business. Uh, Max from Idaho started to put me on his platform yeah. to talk about love and respect and he's a leadership coach so he had people in his community also getting to know more about the work that I do. I got in touch with Gwendy. Gwendy is from, from my women's community, Divine Living Academy. She does niche. She helps people in niche and we cross, uh, yeah. we were visible in, in uh, each other's platforms, right? And then some of people, you know, some of these people are too who does content marketing and he gave advice to some of you on how to create contents. Claudine on how to be healthy. Glenn from Singapore on how to uh, have your brand do good and why your brand needs to be doing good because that's the way the world is going to be yeah. moving towards right now. Marie Claire, you know her from shame to now triumph, runs a multi-million dollar a skincare company from Beverly Hills and Holly James. Holly James from trauma to thriving, right? From her, her, her past, her painful past, how she can manage to come out and be successful uh, coach and business owner uh, right now. So all of these people, we, we started to collaborate, be invisible in each other's platforms, get more people to yeah. know about do us. As a community versus doing it alone. Doing it alone, yeah. yeah. And when we do this, you know, how many impact, how much impact we've got to reach out to different, different people that you never thought you can meet yeah. like Jennifer said just now you never thought you're gonna meet yeah. but this is how you know you want world peace you understand each other better you work together make yeah. business do good together and these people are all amazing people and I love them all so much not so not just that these people in our community already we have experts in our community so we gave them also some sharing platform Norasha, Nurul, Yuna, Monica 
you know, they were they were sharing on our platform as well because they're experts in their own fields, right? Yeah. And that's what I did. I got uh, we we started to go on Zoom, be more visible on Zoom, and that was our life. Our life uh, yeah. before was dressing up, you know, going out in the car and all that. Now we dress up from the top up and then <laughs> we, <laughs> we sit one corner in the house and yeah. just talk to the computer and the people in the computer. Yeah, do it twice a week. You know? Yeah. Or more, sometimes more. And that's how our business grew and we earn more money now than we did before. And yeah. that's why we want to help more people <laughs> to yeah. do the same. Yeah. So what did I do? Okay, exciting, exciting. Now we're going into the apps part. Huh? Yeah. Uh, we got our message online. Okay, awesome. first thing I did was I had to go more online. Before that, once a day, I go once a week. Once a week yeah. I do live. Now it's almost every day. I'm so visible online. WhatsApp. I give audio messages, and that is what you can also do. Huh? Your social media. You collaborate with people, connect whoever you know. If you have a brother in England, go and ask your brother, hey, your brother, hey, my brother, do you know anybody who can uh, connect me? Go and connect with people around the globe and collaborate. Do projects together. Do some fun stuff together, right? Mm. And then reward. Yeah, this is another thing. Yeah, I know some people want to give with I love, yeah? yeah, but right now, during COVID times, a lot of people want money. So we do reward. Refer yeah. people, get rewarded for it. Yeah? yeah, I reward. I I prefer if any money transaction comes in, I will reward the person introducing it. You yeah. can do the same, but it depends on you and your business model how much you can afford to give uh, for yeah. referrals, right? It can be in, firm, in terms of vouchers, in terms of whatever. Points or whatever. Points or whatever, okay? And then I also work on my business value to others. I want to coach, because I am a coach, so I want to coach them to do what I do and coach them to earn the income they want to income, mentor them, and refer them to people yeah. who I know or who knows somebody who may know somebody, you know. We all are yeah. six degrees of separation. Yeah. We are all not far from each other, even though somebody lives in, say, uh, Iceland, you know, there's somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who lives in Iceland, all right? Yeah. So you can get connected. We are all connected to one another. Yeah. And I wanted to do this. I created a positive business community. And yeah. in less than one month, yeah, we started two months ago, uh, creating this culture, getting more, you know, doing all this work. And when we started doing this, we saw more and more people started to celebrate money coming in, yeah. being visible, starting getting a media, media, getting Probably, connections, yeah. starting to go on Zoom, get connected with overseas people. Yeah. You know, this is what we want. Yeah, and we would now. love for you to also create this vibe in your own business community. And then when I did all this, we wanted to have a platform that can support all of the above. And that's why we love Dennis and Craig from Canada. And they're the owners of software development company, Small Business Dream. And they actually supported yeah. us with yeah. this. Whatever we are doing now, they're yeah. supporting us. They're on the back end people creating yeah, the app. We, we met them when we were in, went to uh, uh, Arizona last year. We went to a Les Brown seminar. And, uh, and we shared about our social impact. And that's, they love what we do. And they decided to uh, a joint venture with us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so do all this. You can take a screenshot of this and then you can apply. Yeah, If you are in my community, you are under uh, my coaching, we'll coach you step yeah. by step on how you can do this. All right. Yeah. So when people get into our community, first thing you need to do is get to your minimum 5K. If you're already earning five or more, 5,000, yeah, you can ta target higher. It's okay. I'm just putting this as a benchmark get at least 5,000 US dollars. And some people say, hey, but we live in Malaysia. Ringgit okay lah. I would say get US dollars standardized because if you want to buy software now, everything they will quote in US dollars. So they don't quote in rupee, you know. So you yeah. you just use US dollars as a benchmark. And if your if your currency is low, whatever in whatever country you are from, it then you have a better life, right? But minimum five thousand because you need to invest. You need to invest in software. You need to invest in some other things. Get at least this monthly through your business, right? Yeah. And you can also help others. So group coaching, mentorship, and training, this is what we do, right? Uh, mindset, programming, money mindset, especially because a lot of business owners who are heart-centered, they are good people, but their money mindset sucks, right? So they're always undercharging, so scared to charge money, so scared yeah. to receive money. So we work on that, right? Yeah. And then we'll help you work on your lifestyle design. How are you going to create a business based on the lifestyle that you desire? Mm -hmm. And uh, help you with the visibility offline and online. Okay, this yeah. part I will pass over to Zil. Yeah, yeah. this and, part. Yeah. Mm. So, so what happened so, is when we first started, right? Uh, <coughs> okay, when we first started, 
we uh, noticed that a lot of this, including ourselves in the past when we started doing business, is uh, a lot of people struggle to promote themselves. You know, they have very good products and services, knowledge, but they are struggling to get their products to the ta target customers, you know? So... Seth? Uh, yes, I can never mind. Um, the man was yeah, okay. okay, so... Um, they just give me a minute because somebody's trying to come in. Okay, so uh, we did them. We, we noticed that they're struggling, so that's why we decided to do two uh, ways on how to keep, uh, help them. Uh, visibility one is the offline events that we did before COVID. We start, we did very regular events, networking events. But uh, once COVID started, no more offline events. So then we decided to focus on online events. Uh, that's the that's the time we had the meeting with our partner Dennis and Craig, and they have amazing uh, 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 platform where we focus a lot on. Make it easy for people to uh, tr uh, transit their business from offline to offline using a very simple uh, uh, procedures, which I will tell you later, and using an app, uh, which I will share with you, right? So this is an uh, example of the app. I have to share the screen and share again. <laughs> Just give me a minute, yeah. Come is it Heidi? Yeah, yeah, you just give me a minute and I just let me just adjust. Okay, maybe uh, you can ask Mushida uh, any questions first. Well, I just do, I just adjust the, the slide first. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. So, anybody has any ahas or uh, 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 sharing like how you also pivoted? Because um, the, the app that we did was based on what worked, and we, you know, Dennis and Craig would design it for us so that it can help uh, people better. This is hiding. This is hidden. There is hidden. Okay, so you cannot okay. unhide. Yeah. Huh. All right. Okay, any questions? No questions. So I continue again, yeah? Uh, uh, ah, Farida, you have a question. Yes, you just triggered the very term which um, I have read about in Anklung, the, the um, proponent of Anklung Modern. Um, he mentioned the world Anklung to give world peace and you mentioned that and I think that <laughs> is exactly what I'm going to move towards. I mean, it's large, but I think um, that's one of the major things is world peace. Let's yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we have the platform. Before it was more difficult to call people because you don't know them, right? Yeah, now yeah. it's like, gosh, it's so easy, yeah. easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. Know, yeah. So now the world is rebooting. Way. Let's reboot our business yes, and let's do good. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's continue peace as well because we are still on that. You know, people are very in, unstable right now. So being yeah. busy with yourself, uh, first. You know, again? What is Shakespeare? Right? Music is the what? Food of love, eh? Oh, Shakespeare, yeah. If music is if music be the food of love, play on. So that would be um, uh, well there are many terms, but you know, um that goes back to the very origin of the modern uh Uncle proponent's mm -hmm. word. And yeah, we can go from there. <laughs> yeah. right. Yes, yes, use the app, use the app. Okay, okay come thank you. Arida, I think it's an excellent idea and I love the idea of talking about internal as well as external peace because you can't have one without the other. You gotta start with yourself. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Thank exactly. Thank you. Frankly, I am very happy being home. Some people cannot take it being at home. For some of us, hey, we are working and we're already like half the day at home if we have to do that, right? Sometimes two weeks at home. Like when I don't teach, like school holidays, and if I do not want or cannot find any other thing, I'm just working from home. So I'm very, very blessed to be doing what I've been doing since it's a very long period. That's all, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. That's Thank right. Thanks, Ida. thanks. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Carry on, Zil. Uh, just give me a few minutes. Uh, the thing seems to be stuck. Just pivot, again. right? Yeah. It's pivot. Okay. Right, it seems to be stuck. Let me try again. Just go to that page. The increase your business. Just go straight to this page. You know, I won't unleash this one. Just go on that one. Yeah. Okay, can you guys see it? Can see, eh? 
Ah, okay, so we started doing uh, uh, webinars to connect people. You know, we did our first webinar. We had people from different different countries, right? And then, uh, what are the advantages of online business? We have been doing a lot of home-based business in the past, and we find that when you do online, it's actually much easier. You know, you you actually can do business not limited to time, and then you have uh, your your improved client when you have a proper system. Your your uh, contact with the clients improve, save a lot of money because you don't have to go out anywhere, just you are at home doing a lot of online work. Uh, if you are product based, you actually can, like all these people who are uh, tapping on technology like apps to deliver products and all that, it's much, much easier. And also, it's also save the environment because, like in our system, our app, uh, most people, when we go for networking events and you want to refer people, you need to use a form, like you find a form so you know. Who actually referred who, what is the transaction like? But in our platform, it's all uh, online. You don't have to use any kind of paper at all. It all can be tracked because the when you when you download the app and you register, uh, we will know who it comes from, right? And then opportunity to manage your business from anywhere in the world. This is what I love when you have an online business, you can go anywhere and you can do business. Like we went to Arizona last year, we were doing business there, still talking to our members. So it's a uh, now it's a very good time for us to actually learn the skills of online business. So even though eventually later on, when there will be more opportunities to do offline, we will still have the best of both worlds. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So one of the things that we need to do to take your business online, I've been told by a lot of um, uh, gurus, a lot of teachers in the past, is this is the three main components, right? Having an online presence, which is either website, landing or sales page or, or app. Uh, then having a host uh, hosting to, to maintain your do, your website, your domain, and then also uh, the system, uh, communication system, which uh, is like a CRM, customer relationship management, or email autoresponder to communicate with your customers, right? So, however, what I found, right, in the past, uh, it's very complicated. For example, if you want to do your website and you engage uh, the developer, website developers, in the past, in my experience, I got cheated a lot. We, we get a lot of money to create websites. But in the end, they did not complete the website. So a lot of money wasted. And it didn't happen once that it happened many, many times, you know. So then I decided, oh, I almost gave up on doing this online thing because it's very uh, challenging. So, but when I met uh, Dennis and Craig in Canada, in Arizona, and they shared about what their platform, I said, oh, this is very uh, easy to do. And we tried, we played with it. Even without them coaching us so much, we were able to do, I, I was able to do just by, they give me a manual, and I just do it on my own. And I was able to do it, you know. So this is actually what uh, the, uh, their specialty is a uh, business finder and joint venture app. So this is what the app looks like. The moment you download the app and you go to that, you will see uh, different companies listed. For example, the first one is the small business team, which is our partner, Dennis and Craig, you know, and then our company leave a legacy, you know, and then there's other companies. So whoever lists their business in the app is going you know, to be listed down here. And then you can go uh, by category. Right, you you click the category. There be education, FMB, health, and then you also can even see uh, how many kilometers uh, that is uh, the closest to you. So you can actually uh, find businesses in your, even around your area. Right. So this is what it looks like in the, the the app. You can actually put in a video. You can put in pictures. You can put what your company is about. So it's very simple. Later I will show you on how actually to so simple it is to create this app. Right. And then uh, this is what it looks like. For example, people come in, you can put in your phone number, your website, your, your address, plus people can also rate your app, right? So, uh, okay, before I go into the back office of the app, I just want to share with you a video of uh, Dennis and Craig created a video about the app. At Small Business Dream, we're the number one global small business profitability <laughs> experts. Our Small Business Finder directory app helps answer a really powerful question. What if you could simply push a button and instantly increase your small business profits? What if you could push a button and get more customers? Better yet, push that button and get customers with money ready to spend. And even more importantly, get your customers referring their friends. Small Business Dream has hundreds and hundreds of users downloading our free Business Finder app every single day, and they take advantage of amazing deals and discounts offered by our directory advertisers. Now, we're currently looking for more local and small e-commerce businesses like you to send them to. To make the most of that button, it's best you get all of your customers to download the free Business Directory app first. 
And why would you want your customers to do that? Well, every customer downloading the app and entering your code is now able to receive from you a push notification that instantly shows on their phone. So what would that mean to you? Extra inventory? Push the button. Empty seats or time slots? That's right, push the button. New products or menu items, special events, educating your customers? <laughs> I think you've got it. Simply push the button. What would any of these actions in your business mean to your profitability? Well, Small Business Dream makes it easy for you to get your customers to want to download the Business Finder app. Not just for great deals and discounts they can get from you or other advertisers in the directory, but we also let you give them $5 or 5 euros of our marketing budget to spend in the app. Follow our system and they'll spend that money with you. A simple credit for them turns into your real cash flow. Our marketing budget gives you direct access to your customers' phone screens when they download the app. Now that's a button. As a paid business directory advertiser, you're listed in our Business Finder app. As a smallbizdream.com sales and marketing automation software subscriber, you get the button. We invite you to learn more now. Yeah. And so okay. that's the the about the app, the app, right? And this is Dennis, our partner. So he also has a few uh, words to say. Hey, everybody! I'm Dennis Wilson with Small Business Dream. We're so excited to welcome you to the Leave a Legacy Conscious Business Community. We work with Zeal and Rashida, and we basically just help anyone who has a dream of sort of doing good in the world and starting a business and having that business do good in the world, uh, do better in their business. So we're sales and marketing automation experts. We help put software systems and processes in place to increase your sales and ensure your success. We welcome you to the community. All right. Thanks, Dennis. Okay, <laughs> so what I did was being a very non-techy person. Like for me, I tried to do my own websites, landing page, and I really is like I like uh, banging my head against the wall trying to do it. And if I pay people, sometimes I get cheated. I don't get the job done. So. When this thing came up, it was very easy because the moment you have this app, right, you get people to download, download it, immediately it goes into your customer relationship management, it goes into your database. So from the database, you can send them a push notification, it goes directly to the app. That means they will get a message like a WhatsApp app, it goes direct to the message and they can see what you actually uh, wrote to them. So let me just show you of how this thing looks like and how is easy it is to actually get uh, to, to, uh, to do the app. To register for the app so let me just show you right um, okay this is the back end of the app so how you want the moment you join us as a member uh, at the goal level you'll be able to get this app to, to list your business in the app and immediately start promoting it right for example uh, it's very easy to do all you need to do is just put your name or your company your details here and then your logo on the right and then you can add anything, your website in the URL, you can share a message, you can write, if you have any other extra secondary URL, it's either your social media or whatever you can put here. And you can even add a video of, uh, about your company, about your business, you can put it here as well. So it will come up in the front of the app. Like just now I showed you the app, right? You saw a video in front of the app, uh, that is the, the, the URL that I put it here, right? And then you can put what category of, of business are you in, so you can choose we are in education and coaching, so you can choose whatever category you're in. So when you choose these categories, it will come out in the app later on. Like if they put a beauty, your, your company name will come up or any other industries. And you also can tag it. So then pe uh, all these tags, when people search online, you, they'll be able to find uh, this tag uh, to connect online as well, right? And then uh, you put all your address, your company name, your company address here. And one thing I like about this uh, app is, you can actually choose uh, who you want in your sphere. For example, like you say, I want to suppress, suppress my competitor and I don't want them to be in a 10 kilometer radius. So if you put that, you will be the only person in that business category in your area. So this uh, function can even go up to 50 kilometers. So if you put 50 kilometers, uh, people in the industry, the same industry as you will not be able to enter that 50 kilometers radius that you're in. So for example, you are FMB business or you are a, real estate agent or whatever it is, you will not have any other competitors in the 50 kilometers of the app uh, area, right? And then you can choose to put in different different photos in your app as well, right? Uh, different different currencies in your app. And you can even uh, do a promotion. For example, you give deals. Like for us, we give 
the download app. Uh, usually people when they download the app, it's a free app, but they don't get this JV uh, partnership. You know, it's actually worth $5 per partnership. So for our people that sign, that download the app, they get at least five JVs. They get to do five JVs and they can JV with anybody in the app, in the app community. So what they do is when they JV, you can actually refer each other business. For example, if I go to a restaurant and I like it, and I say, I want to refer business to the restaurant, I JV with them, and then they can either give me a referral fee or they can give me points for me to accumulate, uh, to, to get points for ordering food or anything like that. You know? And then here is events. You, know? you can actually even put events in the app. So when the moment you put your events here and you, and you enter it, uh, people will be able to see what kind of event you have uh, in the app itself. So one thing about the app is, it goes, the moment you get people to download the app, the app, when you sign up, you will have a code name, right? When you give people, they sign up with your code name, we will immediately know that it's from you. So even though you said to 100 people that we will know all these 100 people actually came from you, and if you invite them to any of our, us or any of our partners event, and they decide to give you a referral fee, we will know who it comes from, right? So then the, the best about this is you can actually do an email to them, uh, the people in the, uh, the app who downloaded the app, you can email to the group or you can send them a notification. So as you can see, right, this is all the search where you can search for the name according to different categories. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put uh, this function, which is mobile app uses only those people who actually downloaded the app. There are people who signed up to survey links to registration, but I just want to show you the mobile app users. So I put here and search. Uh, so immediately they come out all these people who actually downloaded downloaded the app. So I can what I can do is I can uh, click their name, right, and then I can see details about them. Uh, as well, this guy is name is Norazli. So I can do what I can do is a beauty thing about this software is you can even do uh, tagging. If any of you knows tagging is when you tag a person according to different uh, industries, according to different uh, how they actually got to know about your seminars you'll be able to know exactly later on when you want to do a search or you want to do marketing to a specific group of people, you can actually do it. For example, let me show you this example. Yeah. Uh, you can assign. So you can actually put a uh, click any of these things. If they came from uh, uh, FB, Facebook, you can put Facebook. Or they come, they, uh, somebody who referred them, you can put under referral. Where is that referral? A referral, you know. So you can tag them. So later on, you don't have to go to all the database again. You can just go to the specific uh, areas that you can tag. So this is some of the options that you can do, right? At the same time, you also can do your own categories. For example, if you want to say, okay, uh, I have a group of person that is actually supporting me to promote my business, uh, like a marketer. I can even put uh, under their name. For example, referral from from who? Uh, say for refer from say, uh, from okay, let's say refer from Aisha, right? from Aisha. So when I click here, right, I add them and then I go back. Uh, immediately, the uh, this category will come up. Uh, see? Referral from Aisha. So I will know that uh, this person actually comes from Aisha. But even without that, in the system, I will be able to tell that it comes from that person because that person will, when they download the app, they will download under the person that referred is their code name. Which, if anybody who comes to the training, I will teach them on how to do it. Yeah. Right? So those yeah. in our community will be having a training on this. Yeah. So what we want to do is uh, to actually reward yeah. the people who refer, yeah. and we want like you to yeah, like build more collaborations, yeah. partnerships, yeah. do joint ventures. Yeah. So yeah. it is actually a, in monetary form, yeah. and we're also talking about adding credits on doing good inside yeah, yeah. yeah. so people who actually do good like you help the the uh, somebody cross the road or you help feed uh yeah. you know uh, uh give buy dinner for somebody yeah. you know yeah so it's all of these things we are adding yeah. as credits into the yeah. app <laughs> so, so this, it'll be fun as so well this is a platform i would call it's a one-stop a platform where when you saw the three essential things that you need right you need the the, the online presence you need the hosting you need the uh, customer management or you need the communication, it's all inside here. You don't have to pick separately. Like you need to book an email of a responder, a supplier, you need to have a landing page supplier. All this is all in one page. Even in this system, you can even create your own 
uh, website or your own landing page. For example, let me show you this uh, example, right? You go to um, page editor and then you'll be able to create your own landing pages. Uh, for example, let me just give one example of this. Uh, uh, is a, this is a template. They have different, different templates for different uh, uh, categories, how you want to promote it. Uh, so this is one example of a landing page that uh, Dennis and Craig did. So you can actually write whatever details you want. It's like a web, a web press uh, page. You can add videos. You can add a button by now. So this is a sample. And one of the easiest thing that you can do, right? Like what Dennis and Craig did was, you just share another, uh, uh, there. Right, so they can, you, what you can do is, you actually can create this very simple landing page where you give them a free, whatever, if you have products or services or you have ebook, you can give them, like for them, they pivoted very fast. They, when the COVID happened, they lost a lot of business on the uh, physical side, but they actually did another, using the same platform they did, uh, to help restaurants and also uh, 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 food for providers. So they give a free ebook, uh, five simple secrets for restaurants and stuff during the COVID-19 survival guide. And then people just uh, read this and then what they can do is they just fill out their details and answer a survey. And then the moment after that, they can download the, the, the book. Free, free book. So immediately these people will go into uh, the, 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 the CRM, the, your CRM. So then later on, you can send them uh, education, the, Tips, you can send them a promotion and you can send them items either by email or by the push notification. So that's how simple it is. Yeah, it's very simple. And we're not going to be paying like a hand and a foot for this kind of system because it's Dennis and Craig, because they love what we do. They, we have a profit sharing agreement, right? So we'll continue again. Some people asking questions. Now, yeah, anybody has questions that you want to ask before we move on? Okay. okay, let's just check if there's any questions. I just love the idea of okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Even just now, okay, never just mind. Now, okay, okay, then we go back to uh, here. That's an hour four. Okay, and then we should not want to share. No, no, we've already done this just now. Uh, pitching, not, not yet. Pitching, not yet. Did, did already. Okay, then continue. Okay, so what else they can do? Uh, Zil said just now referral income, business income. Uh, we also have people in our community who just want to be investors. So we are open to, uh, yeah. you know, talk to them about this. There are some people who just, they don't want to do their business. They just, you know, just, just want to yeah. put some money and then uh, see and yeah. refer people and make their money yeah. grow. It's also possible. Just talk to yeah. us on one, that. One thing good. I just and one also thing. create jump venture yeah. partners. Yeah, one thing that I remember just now, this referral income, in the, in the manual world, you need to fill out forms, you need to find out like who referred who, but in this online system, everything can be tracked online. That's the beauty of it. For example, uh, the Dennis Anchor has a system where you can just upload an invoice or receipt, and we know exactly the amount that we will know, we can, we can track all this amount online. online. You don't have to do a paper and all this. Yeah. It's very simple. Very simple. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, how do you become a member in our community? There are some people who, are, who don't have a business. Uh, I don't believe this is anybody in this group uh, that I'm talking to right now. Yeah. Um, normally, these are like students. They want to learn something. They want to refer people yeah. and they want to network. Uh, network and they want to make money at the same time by referring. Uh, there is a membership fee of uh, $299 US dollars a year yeah. Yeah. or pay by $29 a month. Yeah, And they get all access to all of this. Yeah. And but what we would recommend is if you come into our community, come in as a gold member at least, yeah. So it is at four nine nine US dollars uh, for one year, and for this time during COVID time, I'm offering a one on one jumpstart coaching call and two follow up calls to help you with your package and make instant cash within thirty to ninety days. All right, so we work on a strategy on what you already have and what you can do. And uh, uh, that will be the jumpstart call. And um, also you get your name on the business app, your business yeah. app listing, yeah. uh, potential for immediate cash when you do your, your work, your social impact model suggestion into your business model. Yeah, I just want to share one thing about the jumpstart call, right? Like we have one of our members who is uh, doing uh, travel and also doing events where it's affected by the COVID-19. But when they did jumpstart call, we shared out a lot of ideas on what angle, on how they can actually uh, take it online and they were so amazed like oh actually they didn't know that this can be done and now they're very excited because the amount the, the money that they can make uh, online is actually can be the same or even much more than they doing just offline alone so they can still have their own they can still maintain a, le a good level of income and bring it uh, their business to online yeah yeah actually can make more money no yeah okay so uh the goal the level is at 
499 per year yeah. or if some of you wish to go monthly it is at 49 US dollars uh, for uh, a month yeah? yeah and you get all of this yeah so it's a really good deal yeah. and you get all the back end office you don't have to pay $20000 for it it comes yeah. with it as yeah. well the yeah normal, with your membership norm, usually if you take a like, that kind of system back end it's at least yeah, yeah, yeah you, if you take it for a corporate they charge between five thousand to twenty thousand US dollars just for the system alone. Yeah. So, uh, for premium member, because we do have premium members in our community as well, they want more coaching. They want they want more specific yeah. guidance. Their personal brand. They also want to be to be have more visibility in our in our community as in becoming a service provider. Um, it is at one six nine nine per year, yeah. and you will get one on one coaching. Uh, I don't say once a month, I should say twice a month at least. Yeah. Uh, every month there's group coaching and you will also get additional sales and marketing automation uh, okay. funnel that yeah. is in the, in, you get more in, in, the, the, back office, in the back yeah. office, you get more than the goal. Yeah? yeah. And then you also get a free retreat. This was when we all could travel because what premium members can do is, you know, they get to travel with us only just play for flight, flight accommodation yeah. and then the retreat is all paid for. But yeah. for, for now, since we all can't travel, maybe end of the year, we, know, we don't know. Otherwise, the knowledge will still be shared at least online. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, we also offer virtual office services for those who want to have, uh, have an office in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. And also, um, the membership includes Ariba membership, which is the ASEAN Responsible Inclusive Business Alliance. You will be part of this body of people, businesses, who offer good corporate governance, uh, poverty eradication, community development. And these are all business owners in a different level of uh, field. Eh? They are people who are actually doing good in a big way, like getting governments to not have poverty, get, getting, uh, uh, getting governments to remove hijacking, you know, trafficking and all of these things. Yeah? So uh, we are in this community. So if, you're in, if you join us at premium level, your membership to Ariba, can be inclusive, but we'll give you a few options because some people say, oh, I'm not ready yet. I don't, I'm not yeah. that level where I want to be, you know, talking to governments or influencing them. Um, I want to be just working on my SOPs. I want to create a better customer experience. Uh, I want to learn how to be more visible. So that's where I, I work with um, people like Holly James, people like uh, Nurul, who is in our community, um, people like Yuna, who's also in our community to be able to add value through your business, uh, through consultation as well. Yeah? So you have an option of all of this that is under the uh, membership. Yeah? So this is Yuna and this is where we were in Singapore, where we yeah. signed up with Brands for Good and Arriva. What we do also, we do a lot of business matching. For example, like uh, when you want to meet a particular person in different, different industry, you need to be connected and, you, and we have that connection, we will business match you, whatever yeah. you want to do. Your formulation, you want to go to Singapore and uh, do your business there, we can connect you to the people you there can as connect. well. Yes, and then um, some people said that they want to be in the premium but they're not sure, I mean, with the money yet. So we do have an option of a monthly 230 US dollars a month to help yeah. you out. Yeah. Uh, but what we, what we would recommend is if you can make that 5,000 within 90 days, you know, just pay the rest. That's, yeah. that's easier. And then we'll, we'll give you at the lower rate as well. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, this is where we are right now. The yeah. last couple of months, um, we have yeah, connected yeah, with people, with partners from these countries, people who want to do our, uh, to want to carry this in their own countries. And anybody who comes in as a member, your membership actually goes to education of refugees to get online and also uh, food distribution for the, for for the low yeah, income. Yeah? yeah, so people are in the refugee community and in the Indonesian community. This is what we've been doing during these COVID times as well, right? So with that, um, let's uh, stop yeah. this share. Mm -hmm. And uh, have any questions, any sharing you have, uh, we'll, we're here. Yeah, feel free to ask. Yeah. yeah. And um, just get ready to take photo also. Anybody has any questions so far? Oh, Noresha, you want to do any sharing? Like how so uh, far? Oh, oh yeah, anybody wants to be sharing can feel free to share yeah. your experience. Your experience so far yeah. being in the community. All right. Um, I actually, um, we, we started that time. Remember, Mushida, when we come all the way from Singapore to KL and then we meet with these uh, people and um, and I, I actually am so 
grateful how uh, we grow, uh, the women uh, family leadership grow, and um, all of us that's in the group is they are all leaders in their own way. But it's how we actually uh, boost each other, self confident, and I'm actually very excited to see everyone bloom in the group. So. This is really something grateful because I really love the fact that you believe in positive vibes and that's what our culture is that that will attract more positive people in the group and that's I really am grateful to you Mushida. <laughs> yeah. Thank you Noraisha. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, any other questions or sharing that you all have? Uh yes, Mushida and Sir, thank you so much for the very much details and uh, information. And uh, I, I really do understand, uh, uh, and I know you too very well. You are very good in this, and uh, you're always looking forward to 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 get uh, help from others. You know, it, it's just about the um, who 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 just believe. It's not about who are going to start, but who just believe in your way of um, you know transmitting to others or something like that. So. Um, yes, I do have a question, but maybe later, you know, I, I just, just don't want to disturb others because um, um, thank you so much. And then uh, I'd like to hear more from Jennifer, see what he says. She, she says. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, you have no choice, you have to share now. Yeah, you have to share now. Some, somebody <laughs> just she, take she you. Just, she just threw a ball at you, so you have to, you have to share. <laughs> Jen will be must must be very excited. Yeah, my time is to share or something like that. Yeah. I'm gonna hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank because you. you're you're yeah. you're the furthest. That's yeah. why it's yeah. like wow, yeah. very exotic. <laughs> exotic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Jen, like, you want to share? You want to share anything? Tell you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Jennifer, you wanna share anything? You have to unmute yourself, yeah. yeah. If you unclick, I got it. Okay. Um, I think it's wonderful. I think this whole thing is absolutely wonderful. I love it. I, I love the um I love the idea that if you do something kind mm -hmm. that you are going to and not that people need to be rewarded, yeah. but it's an incentive to be conscious of yeah. doing something nice to someone it, just because not for any other reason but just because yeah. so i love that it's really fun um my platform um and and i can show you and you you guys look at it and dissect it and see yeah. um how it could fit um probably a lot of of people that you that you work with mm -hmm. um and and we're we're a young company um just about four years old and uh we're just kind of getting the word out there too and, and now with this kova people are being forced to do something they know nothing about mm -hmm. and um that's scary yeah so they're you know like you said i mean you're almost paralyzed by fear mm -hmm. that instead of doing something you do nothing so that makes it worse not better and um so I, I, I love what you have put together. It looks really awesome and, and it will help a lot of people mm -hmm. and getting the word out to everyone about more information is, is better, more communication, everyone connecting, um, collaborating is really, truly the way we're all going to get through this. And, um, my platform, fits right into what you guys do. So it it's it's wonderful. And there's lots of ways to work with it. And there's some fun things that we're doing right now on ours that makes it even really affordable. Um, you get to pick the price. Okay. And so if you can only afford one US dollar, then that's all you have to pay. Okay. So we're doing that until COVID is over. Mm -hmm. And that could be what two years yeah yeah More than two, some people say more than two years. yeah yeah so yeah. what it does um the main thing is really uh tracks interest so it's the missing link to everything that you guys do yeah it actually goes out with the artificial intelligence and it finds people who are interested in what you're doing and then it will bring them all back into your web 
website um, and all the things that you want put together for everyone. So it, it fits really well into what you're doing um, because that's the hardest part to find people yep. who want to use your, and to do it globally because now we all can be connected mm. all over the world. It's, it's really truly exciting. I, I have been so excited doing this that, uh, I, I don't get much sleep. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yes, I said that a lot of yeah. things that you have high energy and you can do a lot of things. Yeah. Good. There's just a lot of people to help. So, um, you know, the mechanics of it are very, very simple. Um, but the main thing is really, it, it takes the artificial intelligence and it helps find people for you. So it can plug really nicely into your platform and most definitely into your coaching and everything that you do to help people. Um, and then adding on top of that, you know, these, these fun things that you do, I, I'm just, I'm so excited. <laughs> really yeah. excited. Let's catch yeah. up yeah, yeah, after this call, also. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to know more about, about that. Yeah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Yeah, especially about education, um, putting things out there that you teach music or you teach special techniques, um, you know, like my neck is sore and what can I do to, because people are sitting at their, their computers for a long time. Um, do people would love to know how to stretch in place maybe, or, you know, like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think that I need to do that sometimes, but, um, but putting that out there and, and sharing that with people and um, generating an income so that you're not out instead of, yeah. you know, pivoting to find that new way to do business. So yes. I love it. I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you, wonderful. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. Okay. It's so fascinating how COVID-19 is actually mm. pulling humans across the world closer to each other. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we don't want to hold back. If you have any other questions, do unmute yourself and ask. If you don't, let's all take a photo together. And if you can, um, can open the yeah open your videos. Their videos. Yeah. Yes, there you yeah. are. Hello, gorgeous people. Samantha, yeah. Joanna, uh, Haslinda. Are you are you in another seminar? <laughs> As it does, like working, working, working. Okay, all right, there you are. Okay, okay there you go. Right. Ready, everybody? Okay, everybody. Okay, smile. One, two, uh, one, Kadi, yeah. two three. Okay, let me check it. Eh? Okay, it, check it. Check it. Make okay, sure uh. your eyes are open. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know Zil will look at his. His uh, his face first. <laughs> <laughs> you look at his face first to make sure that his eyes are not closed. <laughs> Most of us are red today. Yeah, red today. Right. Uh -uh, there okay. you go. Hi, ah, very nice. Very nice. Okay, yes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Okay, with okay. that, thank you thank so you. much. Do post inside your uh, the social media what you okay. learn inside your groups, what you learn from today, and then uh, yeah, let's connect. Yeah, yeah? for thank some you. of you, let's okay. connect again. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Have a bye, great day. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye, bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, thank you. Bye.